Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to snowy, snowy Livingston, Montana. And overnight, we really got some snow, let me tell you. It's the 24th of October of 2020, and we had an easterly, what we call an easterly, and uh, the storm that came in from the east. Just to give you an idea, there's my wife's Jeep right there. He pinches down. Look at that snow right there between her rig and my rig. I'm right up to the wheel wells, right up to the license plates. I just got to spend the last 20 minutes getting this thing ready to move. Okay, let's see if we can get this ram to move. Yep, right up to the wheel wells. And now you know why I'm always harboring about four wheel drives. Now I can hardly walk and this stuff is so deep. Look at there, look at that rear tire over here. Okay. And this is why you need a four wheel drive in Montana. One of the reasons. Okay. Let me turn on these swipers here, that's what I call them. Yeah, just in case you folks may have missed it, here the other day, I did a, I don't know, a 16, 17 minute video on on the gearing on this pickup, on the four wheel drive business. So if you got any questions on that, well, you know, just go take a look at that video. It was it's about three videos ago, two videos ago or something. Okay, let me get my pre-flight checklist done here. I got to put my seat belt on. Otherwise, this thing will ding me to death. Hey, let me put my swipers on. I ain't getting nowhere. Okay. Come on. Get in the right. I am very, very close to my wife's outfit over there. So I'm going to have to be dang careful. Okay, down here, we're going to throw this in neutral. And then I'm going to hit four-wheel drive low. Yeah, I know all kinds of prompts dinging at me and everything. Okay, there we go. Boy, let me turn this wheel so I can give me a little... If I smash into my wife's rig... She's gonna smash my wooden head. Okay, are we all ready with the gearing there? Okay, let's give her a go. Easy does it. The way you do in this kind of country, a lot of people think you just gun through things, you know? You just take the accelerator and mash it to the floor. No, you go slow. Because if you start breaking traction, you're screwed. Some of you got that and some of you didn't. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Right there, here we go. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. I was very, very close to my wife's Jeep. Now look at this. I'll show you people something. Look at her, she's coming down out there. And I wanna show you what I just drove out of, if you can see it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Okay, let me, let me wheel her out here. Holy crap. Oh man, come on, come on baby. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, here we go. Four old drive, I'm gonna put it in neutral. And then I'm gonna put this bugger up here in four wheel drive high. Cause I don't think I need the low. I was just using that to get out, get unstuck. I wasn't really stuck, but four wheel drive high will be good for this. I, oops. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere unless I put that thing in drive. Here we go. Now, see this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Roll down this window and see a little bit better. Yeah, 
now I'm just gonna go around the block, cause believe you me. Oh boy. Not too many people out this morning. <laughs> Yeah, way for the old guy there. He's well, there hasn't been too many people. I'm, I'm not exactly breaking trail, but then again, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I I've been stuck up on this hill before, and it's no fun. One time I had to have the, I got lucky, there was a city guy up here plowing and I really got buried in one of these alleys. It's over a friend of mine's house. I mean, really buried. He come along with a, a front end loader, you know, and a bucket and all that kind of stuff pulled me out. Yeah. Now, if you want to see good old Montana snow, you're looking at it right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go down this alley here. Why? Because it's my place. Brett's going to my place. Right here. We're in drive. Sorry guys, I'm wiggling all over the place and you can't see stuff and the lens is wet and all that stuff and I can guarantee you, this ain't nothing like Florida where Trump's at, basking in the sunlight. <laughs> Wonder how come Trump never comes to Montana? Yeah, well, I already know the answer to that. Montana doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it sure surprised me the amount of people I want to get out of these crappy big cities and move up here. I'm not about to take note of what I just said. Okay, that's my property there again. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna drive around because it's man. Look at this mess. Holy crap! Right there. That's what I want you to look at. Right, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop her down and four wheel drive. I'm gonna put her in neutral. Drop her down and four wheel drive low. Watch all the prompts. Uh, hit her, baby. There you go. How many minutes do I got on this? Oh, man. I always keep forgetting to put this thing in drive. Oh, she's doing good. She's grabbing good. That's the thing. When you get in these kind of conditions like this, you want one thing. One thing and one thing only. Traction. You understand what I mean? You start spinning tires, and guess what you are? St high centered and stuck. Yeah, she's deep out here, man. Sorry again. Guys, it's hard for me to do this. See what I can't even hardly it's snowing so hard I can't even hardly see out there anyway. Turn them off. I got her four-wheel drive low. Can't get too close to my grandson's car. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to pull him out tonight. I'm thinking. Okay, well, that's probably good enough. Let me, okay, let me, let me loot neutral it. Because you got to do that when you're coming out of four wheel drive. I'll put her in four wheel drive high. I'll switch all that over there. See that? I already did a complete tutorial on that. Like, you know, people think, probably think, oh, this guy's nuts, you know. No, I've got a reason for doing what I'm doing. Going in here just as evenly as I can between these two rigs. I 
think what I'm gonna do here, think what would be better yet is if I pulled, if I pulled out here. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Okay, now let me let me tap on this. Try to get the autofocus. Well, there, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. This is a perfect example. This is wet, sloppy snow too. It'll believe it or not, there's a lot of it out there, but I predict three or four days it'll probably melt unless it decides that on the winter definitely came early here in Paradise Valley. Usually we don't get snow like this until later on but we're buried. We're buried. That's a fact. So I just thought I'd take you on this little tour. Some of you folks that look at my channel have never even seen snow but you just got done seeing a lot. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Hope you learned something and if, you're not, if you didn't it's my fault but you know we, we can get by all that. Take care of yourselves. Like I say, we'll see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends. Now, let me put the swipers on. Get you a little scene there. And one, two, three, goodbye.